Hi guys! Today I am going to show you an easy activity to find HCF using the materials available in our kitchen. Do you all remember what is HCF? Highest common factor. Yes, we used to write all the possible factors of the given numbers and we used to take the highest common factor. For example, to find the HCF of 6 and 4, we should write the factors of 6 and 4. Factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. The factors of 4 are 1, 2 and 4. So the common factors are 1 and 2 and the highest common factor is 2. So the HCF of 4 and 6 is 2. Now I will show you how to find this using this activity. For this activity I have taken some gram dal here. Now I will show you how to find the HCF of 6 and 4 using this activity. For that we need to take 6 dal this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And four this side. One, two, three and four. Now which number is smaller? Four is smaller. So we need to try to arrange these numbers in groups of four. One, two, three, four. Here two is the remainder. One, two, three, four. As 2 is the remainder here, now we have to try to arrange these numbers in groups of 2. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, like this. So we are able to arrange 6 and 4 in groups of 2. So 2 is the HCF of 6 and 4. Now I will show you how to find the HCF of 10 and 15. Here I have taken... 10 dal and here 15. So which number is smaller? 10 is smaller. So we should try to make groups of 10. So I have arranged this 10 dal here and this is 10 and 5 more. So 5 is the remainder here. We cannot arrange 15 in groups of 10. So now we should try to arrange both these numbers in groups of 5. So I am taking 5 from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now you see 5, 5, 5. Here also I will do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here also 5 and 5. So the HCF of 10 and 15 is 5. Now we will try to find the HCF of 10 and 16. So here I have taken 10 dal. And here 16, 10 is the smaller number. So we should try to arrange um, 10 and 16 in groups of 10. So here this is 10, this is 10 and 6 is the remainder. So now we should try to arrange these two numbers in groups of 6 because 6 is the remainder. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This I am bringing here. And here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this 4 I am bringing here. Now again here and here 4 is the remainder. So now we should arrange them in groups of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This 2 I am bringing here. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we can arrange in groups of 4 but here we cannot. 2 is the remainder. So now we have to try to arrange them in groups of 2. So here I am taking this 2 to dal here. So now I can arrange 16 in groups of 2 also. So the HCF of 10 and 16 is 2. Now I will show you how to find the HCF of 3 numbers. Here I have taken 6, 10 and 4. 
and here 4 is the smallest number. So we have to try to arrange these numbers or these dals in groups of 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 will be the remainder here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here and here, 2 is the remainder. So now we have to try to arrange them in groups of 2. So here we can arrange them in 2s. Here also we can arrange them in 2s. So see, what is the HCF of 6, 10 and 4? It is 2. Children, I hope you enjoyed and you understood the activity. Here are some questions for you. Try to find HCF of these numbers using this activity. Keep in mind if you are taking any two numbers which don't have any common factor, the HCF will be 1. Stay home. Stay safe. Bye-bye.